Alright guys, how's it going today? Um, I have a very strange camera angle and there's a reason for that. Um, got some stuff behind me. Bet you can't guess what it is. Well, there's a bumper. That's the same bumper I've had. Um, and that's a hood. So I grabbed a hood this weekend for my buddy. Um, didn't even have to pay anything for it. I had a hatch cargo cover from uh, my 93 Mustang that I'll never use. And uh, it was just kind of sitting around, to be quite honest with you. I don't even know how it made it through all the moves. Um, you know, there's really no reason for me to even have it <clears throat> since I don't have a 93 anymore. But, hey, it, it was here and it got me a hood. So, what I'm going to do today is try to um, see if that solves the issue that I've been having with the front end lining up. Um, now I'm kind of wishing I hadn't taken this bumper off. Yeah, I sure am. So let's see if we can remedy that real quick, shall we? Wow, well, that was quick. It's almost like magic. Anyway, all I did here was throw this thing on and um, stick a nut on the top of each side and then screw these middle things down a little bit. I'm not looking for a perfect fit right now. There's a good step down right here because it's kind of hard for me to get my hand back there um, and get it nice and tight. So really all I'm looking for is the fit up here where the hood meets top of the front bumper. That's what I'm looking for. So let's see if we can um, figure this thing out. Okay. Ugh. The one man hood installation right here. Now I am not bolting anything down. I don't have a super sweet paint job to protect, so I'm just going to set it right on here and see how this looks with just a quick quick adjustment here. Okay, all right, with the hood set on, already it looks a lot better than the old, um, than the old hood, hood did in relationship to the front of the bumper. So let's take a look. All right, so this is what we're talking about right here. That right there. And this is my main area of concern. And that angle looks a little bit funny um, but trust me, it's pretty, actually, that's a little better. That's pretty good right there. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So I'm going to set this thing down and grab the Cobra grill insert and just kind of set this thing in there and see how it fits. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now this thing does add, obviously, it adds a little bit to the thickness of this front piece. And once that double stick tape goes on there, it's going to add even more. So I may need to adjust that 
bumper in a little bit once I get everything mounted. Yeah, that should that should pull in just fine. Once everything's mounted and tightened up, I should be able to get that pretty close. Um, so cool, cool. Let me get that thing out of there so it doesn't fall out and break on its own. All right, now this hood is not exactly a work of art. Um, there's a high spot right here that I'll probably just grab a dolly and a body hammer, get that thing out of there. Um, there's some rust spots, some rust spots, little dings here and there. But uh, honestly, for what I paid for it, which was almost nothing, other than a part I wasn't using, then it's good. Now, once this, once this piece is tightened and set up in the right spot, then that should line up a little bit better. This guy might right here, I might have to adjust the hood stop up a little bit to get that to even out. Um, shouldn't be a big deal. This sits a little high over here something under it so that might that might actually be my proportioning valve I might have to move might have to bend a couple of things back into place but the gaps as far as like a preliminary thing all look pretty good now just keep in mind that to even get um, with the old hood to even get that right there that piece in the front to get those two things looking good together minus the side that had been pushed in just to get the one that hadn't been pushed in or that I thought hadn't been pushed in just to get that to line up there was a gap in here that probably was the width of my finger um, or at least close to it so yeah not too bad not too bad at all okay so overall the hood's pretty straight um, I got a little bit of work to it, but here's the thing. I'm doing a cowl hood anyway, so this is just a temporary means to an end to get everything lined up, fitting properly. Um, this way, when I go to adjust everything, I'll know where my lines are at, and then that cowl hood will just go on real easy. My snaps are terrible today. Hands are all dry. Um, so that's what we're working with. Um, I'm pretty happy about this because uh, that means I don't need a new front bumper. Although, and I know I shouldn't do this to myself, but I have been thinking Cervini stalker bumper at some point. I may go that route eventually. It depends on, depends on where the money's at and um, you know whether or not I run out of stuff to do or whatever just kind of just depends on where everything's at by the time I get to that point but I've got a lot of other things to think about here um, so before we get to any of that stuff um, I really really do I've sent him a couple of messages and I'm sure he knows but G Funk Express man once again you know this guy really came through for me um, he offered to uh, take a couple of measurements of the hood he already had off his car and that was just sitting in his garage. Um, and I compared those to the measurements of my hood that's sitting outside there. And that's how I was able to really, you know, not 100%, but have a much better idea of the confirmation of the fact that it was actually the hood that was a problem and not the bumper. So, you know, I did jump to a little bit of a conclusion with the bumper. Um, you know, but it is what it is. It's what, it's what we do sometimes. Just, uh, you know, I guess that's just a good lesson to make sure that when you think you have a problem with something, explore all the angles, um, measure everything out real well, know what the problem is. Because I mean, I was about ready to spend a bunch of money on a front bumper. And then I would have got that front bumper, which probably if I would have had to order one, you know, they're like 330 bucks or something like that from LMR. I can't remember the exact number. But then on top of that, if you're paying, 
you know, the large freight fee for it. It's a hundred bucks, 120 bucks, whatever. You're close to $500 on that. That would have been a $500 mistake, you guys. And I mean, that's a lot of money that can go into some really cool stuff for the car. So really glad I didn't have to do that. Thanks again, G-Funk. You're the man and I owe you one. Um, but basically what this is, what this allows me to do here, you know, with, with confirmation that that's the problem, now I can start taking everything off. I am taking the fenders off. I'm gonna take all the side skirts off. I'll probably even take the back bumper off. I've got some reshaping to do. You know, we get some sagging in the urethane. I've even got a little spot to do on that front bumper there. Um, and I've got to align the doors with the rest of the body. And then, you know, then we have to do the fenders and just align everything, shim everything if necessary, all that good stuff. Get this body, you know, as straight as I can. I don't know if it's going to be perfect. I would like it to be. That'd be awesome. Um, but it can be kind of tough sometimes, you, you know, especially, especially with the mystery of what actually happened to that hood and bumper and how they got that bumper to even fit that hood. Um, Especially with that, I don't know, you know, if there's anything else that I'm going to run across that's going to be a problem. So, um, if I do, I'll deal with it, um, and you know, we'll just uh, we'll just kind of go from there. I also have to replace the door pins. That's another thing. Um, before before I even start aligning the doors, the door pins need to go on. You know, once I do that, then we'll be good to go. So, the door pins will be a whole separate video. That's probably going to be a little bit of a journey because um, because I got to grind the old ones out. They've never been out, so um, that'll be that'll be fun. I'm going to get to all that stuff. Um, I just basically have to, you know, start pulling everything apart now. But that's the fun part, right? All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to wrap this whole thing up. Um, I just really wanted to check this front end out and see if we were going to get everything to be able to get together because I hadn't had a chance to do anything since I got the hood um, and it looks like we're all good at least for the time being hopefully there's no more um, skeletons in this closet and we can just start moving through this stuff but if there is we'll figure out a way to get through it and uh, and uh, I'll tell you anything I learn, anything I know along the way. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good one and we'll catch you on the next one.